Right then, guys, welcome back. Um, so, yeah, we had a good time at Lama. Um, and we've had an early start today. We're in May. Um, so, we're way behind on getting stuff in the grain and stuff like that. But it's 6 30. Um, so, you know, I am trying my best. And this tractor is a beast. I love being back in it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just check it here for now. Um, so we have our seedbed. Um, I did then notice once I'd done the seedbed, we had some stones, so I just went around and picked the stones up. Um, so yeah, we've got loads to do. Um, and this farm was not such a good deal as I thought. Um, so I didn't read the small print. Most of the equipment didn't come with the farm. Uh, this tractor did. Uh, although it came with the farm, it's still a little bit underpowered for what we want. Um, so then if we go up here, run up here quickly. So we, if you notice, all this is empty. So We've got the cedar, that's still come, the roller, the teleander loop gone, I knew that anyway, but the harvester gone, and then, I can't remember what else was there, but then obviously in here the trailer's gone as well, and the combine he header, all that's gone, so we're kind of having to beg, steal and borrow stuff. Um, so yeah, as you can see though, I finally put the Facebook ad out a week ago, I had nobody interested yet, but hopefully we will. Um, so it's quite early in the morning, so what I'm thinking of doing is just nipping up to our um, cornfield, checking to see how they're going, and um, yeah, but then hopefully we will be ready to go back to the shop, take the stone picker back. Um, because it's not ours, obviously, we've uh, leased it. Um, and yeah, go from there got lots to do. I've spoken uh, to our friend Farmer Sim at Bamwell at Home Farm and he's more than happy to come over and give us a hand with the corn, well maize silage. Um, also while I was there I was speaking to a good friend Miss Sim Gamer who is over the Old Stream Farm in France and even she said she'd be more than happy to come over if I gave her a bit of notice when it be. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a few on here, um, which would be good because we need the hand, obviously, because we don't have a help at the moment. Um, so, they're coming over whether we get help or not, because we're going to need help as it's a long like, cart from the field up to here. Um, so yeah. They're going to come over, give us a hand. It's all great. This is what I like though, you can call on community to give you a hand. Obviously, not all the time, because um, they've got their own stuff to do. But, a one big harvest is okay, I believe. And I think once we get back into settling down here and having staff and everything, it'd be alright. So, who knows. So, drive up here. Do you know what? I do like this drive up here. Um, through the woods. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, 
just yeah so we're going to see how we're doing on the corn oh, look at that it's looking good looking good uh, yeah we're not far off this you know month or two I think and we'll be there it is looking fantastic and then just going to check to see if this one's the same yeah this, this is looking the same I think we're not far off of it to be fair which is good um, so I think head back make a brew and wait for the dealership to open um, so that we can go and hire some stuff because we need a lime spreader um, to spread some lime on our fields and then get um, seeding into it um, why I was at Lama uh, spoke to a good friend, Mark Fall, who is sending us, well, not sending us, sold us his uh, old Ford class dominator. Um, so we bought that off of him. £65,000, I think it was. So we're in a good, you know, yes. Old classic, always got to love an old classic. Um, so yeah, we will have a harvester. Did I need to buy it now? No, not really, because we don't have much to harvest. But I say that, our canola's going to be ready soon. Um, so yeah, soon we're going to be busy, busy, busy. Um, and we need to get um, some grass planted, because obviously going to need to make hay, we're going to need to make some more silage, so that we can get on with the um, prep to get cows in, because, you know, I want to get cows in, um, get some beef cattle in to start with, and then get some good old dairy cows in, and um, yeah, go from there really. So, I will see you around half seven when the dealership's open. So yeah, it's got to do it. Eight now. Shop will be open by now. But what I forgot is the stone picker. It's full of stones. <laughs> so. Hi. Drop these here. Like that. <clears throat> Don't know what we're going to do with those stones, but we will do something with them. Maybe get a line crusher or something like that. Well, that's the first time I've seen someone come down that lane. That's because they're coming here. Who is that? Uh, let's go and find out on the way back, shall we? Just landing it there. Eh? Hello, can I help? Hi there, my name's uh, Poppy. Uh, I'm a friend of uh, Molly's. She said you were looking for a hand. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, we're definitely looking for um, some help. Um, well, I'd definitely be interested in helping. I'll tell you what. Um, leave me your number and... I've got to do a few things today, uh, get things sorted and stuff like that. And then I will give you a call tomorrow and arrange start date. Sound good? Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Thanks. Cool, wicked.
right then. So that was Poppy. Oh, <laughs> she flew over there. Looks like we're going to have some help there, doesn't it? Um, which is always good. Always love some help. So things are looking up. She doesn't hang around in that little thing, does she? My dear, this is. We can only do 32 in this, so she's probably flying at 40. <laughs> so, yeah. But, things are starting to look up now, which is good. I'm really looking forward to this. Seems seem really nice. And a friend of Molly's. And I don't think Molly would have sent us um, anybody that wasn't that good, if you know what I mean. Um, let's go to the shop, drop this back, and see if they've got a line splitter. Looks promising. So, if we drop this. Land it here. Hey, Leroy, how's it going? Oh, yep, yeah. you're right. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Are you uh, here just to return that, or are you after something else? Yeah, just uh, wondering. Do you have a lime spreader we could borrow? Yeah, we've got that one over there. That would be fantastic. Can we take it now? Yeah, of course you can. Bro. Uh, stick it on the account. <laughs> you still have to cheap equipment. Yeah. About drawing up the road to uh, home to the pig on missile farm. Well, he's getting rid of the arable, so he didn't hit fields and obviously selling off all his equipment. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I tell him you'll pop by at one stage and have a look then. Alright, brilliant. Cheers, thank you. So that's something, isn't it? Go and see what he's got up there. So like this and like that. Do we have it all connected? Let's lift it up. No, we don't. Let's there we go. Now it's all connected. Oh, and on. Samantha. You haven't even got like full port yet. Which one name? Do you have a telehandler or something like that? We could borrow as well to obviously lift the, the lines into. Yeah, give me half an hour and I'll sort it for you. No worries. Okay, brilliant. Cheers. Um, I'll come back in the car then and pick that up. Cheers. God, I love her. She's so helpful. Um, fairly new here as well, so... That was close. Didn't see that one. I always think that sign's in the wrong place, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah. Take this back. Come back in the car. And then... Go and have a look. At I'm sure it's this one. 
going to have a look in there and um, see what he has to offer. Um, but yeah, I will see you in a bit. Right then, so we're going to leave this here and we're going to head down in the car to pick up the telehandler and then we are going to get lime in the fields and drop the telehandler back and when on our way back up we're calling and see what this was it John I think has for sale um, because we definitely need some equipment. Um, so I'm down here. Get in the car and head to the store. Because we definitely, definitely, definitely need more equipment. Keep powering is not best for us. Um, so yeah, we hopefully we'll come back with some deals today, who knows, we might not have anything that we want or need or, but we can hope. So. I will see you at the shop. Right then, so we're just coming up to the shop now. <laughs> That's a nice bit of a kit, isn't it? Don't know what we need a lorry for, but it's nice. Park it in our favourite spot. And, oh, there it is. Nice. New Holland. Mind you, that is a beast of a kit, isn't it? I mean... It looks rather, rather posh. I mean, I don't know what we need one for, but... You can... Appreciate... A beauty when you see it. So yeah, we go in, pick up the keys, and get on our way with doing some mine. Alright, so we've got the keys. Oh, sounds like a beauty, isn't it? Sounds like a beauty. Gonna have to put this on one of our lists because I definitely think we're gonna need one of these. Um, but, oh, is he letting us go? Wicked, that was very nice of him. Thank you very much, mate. So, yeah, we're gonna need to put a telling on our list. Um, you know, doesn't have to be a swancy nice one like this. Yeah, we need to put one on. Uh, day is beautiful, perfect for climbing some fields and looking at some equipment. So, yeah, I think it's in here. Yeah, ping and whistle. So, yeah, um, it's going to be good. going to love it. Um, get back to the yard and get some lime done.
morning. So that's all our feels like. So if we take this back to the dealership, the spreader. I think it's got a little bit of light left in it. I've had to top it twice. Um, so yeah, if we take this back to the dealership and then come back down with the telehandler and then go in and see John. And see what he's got. Because uh, we do need something. Some things, uh, maybe a better horsepower tractor, same as this one if need be. Um, so there's two like this size because obviously you can get taken on puppy. Right. And then, yeah, so just see what he's got basically. So. I know we just think I, they'd be happy for us just to. Ooh, I hit that. Let's hope they didn't see that. Uh, so. There we go. Right then, so that's the telehandler dropped off and it is time. You can see John um, and see what equipment he's got that we can buy if anything. Um, hopefully he's got some good stuff that we can buy. Um, Everything's for sale. Um, apparently, he wants one tractor that he's not selling, which is a John Deere. Um, he's not selling that one, but everything else is for sale, apparently. So, let's drive on up here. And um Hello, can I help? Hi ah, yes, uh Samantha down at the dealership said to come and see you. Hello right, yeah, go have a look, I'll be with you in a bit. Alright then, let's go and have a look. I mean I wonder if that's where Poppy lives. She's staying there. But that is nice. Some nice little one there. I know. Not bad at all. But look at this. I'm going to come back to that beauty. But oh, there is a JCB telehandler, which would be useful. A little grain trailer there that could be useful, I suppose. Uh, silage trailers that will gonna come in handy. Um, but yeah, let's go and have a look at this one over here because I'm assuming that's the John Deere that's not for sale. So let's go and have a look over here and look at this beast. I mean. 
That is amazing. I mean, just look at it. I mean, that is looked after. That's that's someone's baby in there. Yeah, it's mine.